So uh, I learned something important the other day. I learned the importance of punctuation while texting. I sent my roommate a text, you coming home tonight? But I forgot to put the question mark in there, so it just came off like, you coming home tonight. <laughs> Finally watched that movie, The Secret. A friend of mine convinced me into watching that. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but if you have, a couple people have, that's fine, right? It's, for those of you who haven't, it's like a self-help motivational movie. It tells you the importance of visualization. And it tells you that if you just visualize a check coming in the mail, one will just miraculously show up one day, right? I was like, uh, there's a name for that. It's called collecting unemployment. <laughs> My friend has her master's degree. I think the only reason that somebody gets their master's degree is to tell you they've got their master's degree. There's no other practical reason. She, I, it's, I have my master's degree. I, I have my man. This guy tried to get me to cross the street. I was like, I have my master's degree. <laughs> I have my BA myself. I went to the University of Kentucky. That is a big, sweet 16 March Madness school. They love the NCAA basketball there. In fact, while I was going to school there, I saw them win it two times. They won the championship. Now, granted, it took me nine years to graduate, but I'll take that. So uh, I, I tried to build up my credit by financing a car. That's not a smart thing to do if you want to like build up your credit. It's a good way to destroy your credit if uh, that's what you're in the market to do. And it's kind of like they wanted me to get a co-signer on the loan when I was trying to buy this car. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm a 32-year-old man. That is a humbling phone call to your father. Like, yeah, Dad, things are going great. What do you say you co-sign on a Kia for Timmy, huh? <laughs> and that is a humiliating moment, by the way, in the car lot when the guy runs your credit. Because keep in mind, it's not just a number. It's like a case study in your life as a financial delinquent. <laughs> It's like a timeline in your economic shortcomings. He's just like, oh, he just goes down this list of what you haven't paid for in your life. It's kind of humiliating, right? So he goes down this long list of stuff, and he's like, oh, my God, student loans. I'm like, yeah, I know. And he's like, well, I'll tell you what. We're going to forget about those student loans. And I was like, well, it's funny that you say that because I have done exactly the same thing. 